Hello everyone, welcome to Coder in Boots. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the topic, how to create a Linux shell script with binary files inside. Okay, or in other words, uh, how to create a Linux shell script by embedding binary files. Okay, so the reason why we need to embed uh, the binary files inside a shell script is because let's say you are creating an installer file or, or an installer script. Okay, there can be several dependencies uh, such as like I mean the installable itself or binary of uh, maybe a software 1, software 2, software 3 etc inside the install installer and then it will undergo like I mean several steps to finally do the installation. So but when we are shipping this uh, if you are not embedding these files inside the installer script, what will happen? It will go as individual files, right? It will go as like a bundle with several files, right? And uh, it will be difficult or uh, it will be difficult for you to ship or it will be difficult even for the, the end user to do the installation. So instead, what you can do is you can just create like a single uh, file shell script okay or single file installer itself uh, without making any confusion so that the, the end user can just execute the file follow the instruction and do the installation they don't really need to take care of the dependent files or other uh, binaries so because it is all going to be embedded within the shell script itself and another advantage is once you embed everything into the shell script you can even create a binary out of it you can compile the shell script and create a binary out of it so that you can create a very secure uh, distributable uh, binary which includes other binaries as well okay so that you can even uh, let's say you are developing a license to product and uh, you are developing a product and it include it needs some dependencies like java or python and some other things some other libraries packages everything so uh, plus your your application right so uh, instead of like i mean uh, telling the user to install this that and all you can create just a single installer file and you can embed everything inside the script itself finally create like a compile it create a binary out of it and share the binary installer to the end user so that they don't really need to worry and they will not even see what is inside they can just execute and uh, finish the installation okay that's the that's the goal okay so let's get into the practical session so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to demonstrate this with the example of installing java okay java is a very popular uh, programming language right so what i have done is i have uh, uh, downloaded the java uh, binary from the official java website so in this official java website if you see there is an option to download the binary okay and da download the binary means once we download this what will happen it will download uh, the 64 bit binary so that is what i need and i'm going to install i'm going to create an installer uh, in linux machine so java uh, uh, like i mean it's already it's it's available to download as rpms dbs and all but here for demonstrating this example what i have done is i have downloaded the uh, the uh, binary version the basically like i mean the the um, linux 64 this is just a binary it's a tarball okay so you can see rpms over here that means if you install this is for the red hat machines if you install it what will happen it will automatically take care of doing uh, setting up the path okay extracting everything but here what happens is if you download this uh, tarball it it just comes as an archive so you need to extract it manually you need to set the path everything okay so mine is an ubuntu machine so rpms anyway won't work so i'm going to download this and I'm going to create an installer so in your case let's say you your requirement might be something else right but uh, you can customize or modify the script that I am demonstrating based on your choice your interest okay so what I have done is I'll, I'll show you the script and then so I have created a script java installer dot such inside the java installer I have a function install java okay so this function you can create maybe let me uh, open a notepad and I'll show you the structure of this particular code so we have an install function okay so basically it can be anything okay so instead of install Java you can even make it install software okay so software so that's the first function then inside the function what we are doing we are doing the normal shell shell based installation commands okay so the steps for doing the shell based installation assuming we will have the required installers available in a path okay so i'll come to this the details of this function later but i'll i'll go through the remaining part of the code so this 
file content line okay so this is a marker so file content line is a marker in this shell script so what this line is basically it is basically a line number where i wanted to read okay the 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 binary content so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, append the contents of the the binary file okay so uh, basically i have downloaded the uh, the java binary from uh, the official website basically from here i have downloaded and i have saved it in my linux machine like oracle java tar dot gc so maybe i will show you how i downloaded i have taken i have copied this link and then what it is i just maybe mkdir temp i just create a directory wget using wget i just pasted the url and downloaded the file okay it's around 100 plus mb uh, size data so it takes some time to download this entire file okay so it will download this file to this machine and like that i mean i downloaded the the oracle java file over here i'll cancel the download because i already downloaded okay so i i have downloaded the file as oracle java tar d g c okay so now what i will do is in the java installer sh in my shell script i will append this particular file content to the end of the shell script okay so i will we will append the the content uh, basically this entire file content okay the binary content directly to the end of the shell script i will show multiple approaches first i will show you how to append directly okay so here so that is why we are keeping a marker file content line okay if you see uh, over here i have uh, a marker over here file content line fi file content begins okay so what we'll do is after this file content begins we will append the binary okay so binary content of the actual file so then what we are doing this file content line is a marker it is just going to give a line number so from which line onwards which line this file content begins text i mean line is present or file content begins a uh, string is present okay so then what our program will do is we will read the remaining content from this file and consider that as the tarball okay so that's why we are checking uh, we are using awak command or command to identify the line in which this file content line is present file content begins is present so we have i have added this file content begins at the end of my script okay so so that this will give me the line in which this particular line is present line number okay then i am printing echo file content line i am printing the line number okay then i am setting a work directory work directory means basically i wanted to extract so whatever content i am attaching at the end once i extract i need a work directory right so because i will be creating some temporary files and all during the installation so i will need a di temporary directory that's why i am using a temp directory and inside that i am creating a directory called java underscore install okay so this is a temporary directory so i am this is my work directory then what i am going to do i am just doing a basic sanity check whether the work directory exists or not if not what i'll do i'll create the directory if the work directory already exists what i'll do i'll just make sure i mean the contents are cleaned because if uh, because let's say if you are doing the run for the second time right uh, we need to make sure it it's not going to get overwritten so uh, like it's uh, otherwise what will happen the file name may come with like i mean some uh, one two like that i mean it will happen right so just to avoid those kind of issues just doing basic sanity checks okay so that is what this logic is doing so this all these you can update it based on your logic i am just giving an example okay so it can be optimized uh, to a better way as well i am just going so because if i add more things it will complicate uh, the program so just to avoid those problems i am just uh, making it uh, like simple then next what we are doing we are doing we are going to extract the binary from uh, from here or right now i have not attached anything so what we will do is tail hyphen n what what this what is the functionality of tail command tail will read the content or print the content of a file and from the bottom to top right bottom to top and hyphen n if you specify hyphen n what will happen it will uh, do the bottom n lines right bottom n lines means so from where from where onwards i am doing i am basically doing from file content line onwards right so i'll do from file content line so file content line means what so i have uh, um, so so i have uh, this 
file content begins is at over here right so from here onwards i wanted to do the i wanted to uh, like read the content and take it to uh, the extraction purpose because it's a tarball right so that is what i am doing tail hyphen n file content line file content line will give the file the line at which this particular thing is there so it will give the <coughs> the uh, the content after this so tail hyphen n this particular number dollar zero dollar zero is the name of the script name of the script means the current script so it, uh, dollar zero will automatically when we execute the script it will automatically get the value java installer our script's name is java installer sh right so it will automatically get the value of java installer dot sh okay tail hyphen n right then uh, this particular line number that is like i mean in our case i think it's somewhere around 34 let's see what is the number of this so it is uh, 34 okay file content begins is at 34 and then from there java installer.sh that's a file name then what we are doing we are so here so here i mean let's say if you are there are two options one is we can append the content I, for now what i'll do is i'll come in this line i'll just do normal uh binary append part okay i'll not do i'll not do base 64 encode decode so so what i'll lose i'll just copy paste this entire line without base 64 base 64 part i'll explain later so with this piped redirector what will happen is this will pass the content whatever is extracted from here so that means it from here onwards the content till end right that content uh, it will extract and pass it to the tar command so tar is at xv so what will happen is this will extract tar.gc right so it, it will extract the content and it will extract to the work directory work directory is what we have set it here slash tmp java install so when you extract so what we will do is we will extract and see what happens when we do extraction so tar hyphen is at xvf right this file so this is extracting this entire tarball right and it is extracting in a directory like java jre 8 1 421 that's coming you see it got extracted to this particular file right similarly there also it will extract and it will save the files to the uh, the extracted content to a fo folder the extracted content content will come in a folder like jre 1.8.0 inside slash work directory right in the work directory i'm going to clean this uh, part right now okay okay so now what we'll do is let's go inside the java installer so it will do the extraction now uh, yeah it will do the extraction uh, yeah it will do the extraction to this directory then we are invoking the function our install java function we have defined it as a, as a function over here right so what it will do it will go inside the directory right then cp hyphen r whatever we have extracted so work directory means it will go inside cd slash tmp java install then the after the extraction this jre folder will be there right the jre will be copied to slash opt then i am setting the uh, environment variables right uh, that means i'm in the java home i'm setting opt jre this particular one and also export path equal to uh, the dollar path colon dollar java home slash bin okay so in this way java home will get added to the path okay the path variable okay and both i am appending it to slash etc bash rc so that if etc bash rc uh, is a place to where a place where we can set the environment variables at the uh, system level okay so if you append anything to this one the variable will be available across the system so that when we do uh, when we type java right it will automatically get added to the path so that's the thing so first uh, what we we'll lose uh, let me <coughs> uh, append the uh, installer okay to the end so what i lose cat this particular one okay then java installer dot sh so we have appended uh, so cat will app uh, i mean open the file contents because it's a tarball so what will happen is the binary itself will go inside this file as uh, file okay directly and you see uh, 
after file content begin yeah now you see you can you can see some random characters right this is this is not random character basically this is the binary content of what you have inside the tarball so what now what we'll do is as explained so it will uh, read the uh, the contents after file content line and then it will do the extraction and finally save it to the work directory that's the thing let's try and test this program okay now we need to this is a shell script right so and we don't have the execute permission over here let's see so we don't have execute permission over here let's add ch mode u plus x java installer.sh now let's clean the screen now let's execute java installer.sh you see it's extracting okay first it's doing the extraction and if you want to uh, remove this log what we can do the xvf right we have given in, in the tar command we have given uh, v verbose right we can remove the verbose now you see the execution finished so in this uh, if you see uh, the logs x file content line line number 34 after that it gave the echo extracting binary right after extracting binary it did something right let's verify what happened inside opt so previously opt did not had anything so now inside opt we have jre uh, this 1.80 right now let's see also what is there in inside etc bash rc because we added something to set some variable inside this etc bash rc right so you see inside etc bash rc you have uh, you have the path also set okay i think i made a mistake in while setting the path etc slash bash okay it is not etc bash rc it is uh, etc bash dot bash rc I, I did a wrong file and also there is some update required in the uh, in the path setting variable as well okay so java installer but anyway it extracted and it set the value over there export it's not dollar path it is a path equal to dollar path so we'll keep the java home at the beginning and caller dollar path and we'll keep it is not bash rc bash dot bash rc dot bash rc okay so this is the file so it takes some time to write uh, because the file size if you see the file size do you hyphen sh um, java installer see it is 101 mb now with this the installer so it's a single installer right now you see it's a single installer and uh, it has the entire file content inside it right now uh, maybe i'll add those export commands manually as or maybe let's clear it off cd slash slash opt let's clear it off uh, let's run it again okay jre okay now we have cleaned it up now we will execute this once again java installer right uh, yeah it's extracting uh, okay Ex due to previous errors okay so this reason the reason why this issue is happening is okay the reason why this issue is happening is because uh, you may also encounter this error we have a fix for this because we have uh, what we have added the binary content inside this file right and after adding the binary content and now i made some edits to this file okay so this is very we have to be very careful because this binary content after adding this if you make some edits to this file it will become unreadable okay it will create problems right so just to avoid those kind of issues what we need is what we need is uh, ls slash opt jre okay so what we need is we will uh, con we'll have to convert this the instead of attaching the binary content we will convert that to uh, base 64 okay so what is base 64 base 64 is a uh, basically an encoding format right we can encode and decode we can convert or encode a file to file using base 64 so that it will become a string okay it will be encoded the entire content will be encoded to base 64 so that it will become a string okay so that it will the even even if you edit the shell script it won't create any problems inside the shell script okay so 
because right now if you see this is all some uh, special character kind of thing right if you make any edits to this file after creating the script it will create problem you will face similar errors like this exiting zero okay failure something something right because the file got corrupted so this is very dangerous to avoid that what we will do is we will use base64 uh, mechanism okay so uh, let me see whether something got appended the bash dot bash rc uh, here it might have appended yeah it appended over here so what we'll do is we'll remove this variables as well now we will just create or add uh, the base 64 mechanism over here so we will let's create a separate installer file itself so what we'll do is head hyphen 34 right java installer let's see what happens with this we are, i am just re reading the first 34 lines using head command okay so yeah it has uh, the required content plus one additional line we will omit this additional line so using the head command itself i am creating install underscore java dot sh i am creating a new script okay now in the install java uh, script install javascript i am removing the unwanted line which is at the end okay unwanted line which is at the end now what i will do is i'll store this i'll i'll append the content of this file base64 right base six, the, there is a, a utility in linux itself called base64 so using base64 utility i am going to um, i am going to convert the binary content to base64 okay so it's going to be encoded with this and then i am going to append the encoded content to this file now let's see what happens in this now now let's open the file and see what is inside this okay so here the file will take it will it will open very slowly the reason is because the size because of the size okay now you see the encoded content it's a string okay after the file content begins right you see it's a string it's a string and here this is alphanumeric with the special characters and all it is not like the the type of file that you have seen in the previous case right so in this scenario even if you make edits it won't create any problem so this is safe to make edits okay so even after uh, appending the the uh, the binary in uh, or in the encoded content you even if you make some edits to this program uh, it is okay it will work okay now let's execute and see how it works how, how it runs okay so let's clean up the opt directory rm hyphen rf slash opt jre okay now let's execute the inst okay let's add ch mode u plus x install java install java error non recoverable okay let me see what okay there is file content line what we have done install java file content begins uh, everything is fine there is no issue over here dollar zero and what is over here std in not in gc format right tar dot gz oh okay yeah that's the reason we have to uncomment this we have to come because we have not used the base 64 one right yeah so we have to use the so in that case if you are encoding it in the base 64 format so we have to the 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 tail the extracted content will be in base 64 right so the base 64 we need to decode okay so we need to decode that's why the pipe we have to use base 64 hyphen d then we have to uh, use the tar Okay, that's why it is giving, it's complaining about uh, extracted content is not in GC format. Okay, I'll anyway attach this code, everything uh, to the description. Now, if you see std in not in GC format, that was the issue, right? Now let's install again, install Java. You see, now it is extracting properly. Okay hit extracted now so let's verify in opt slash opt 
right opt has uh, this one now let's check etc bash dot bash rc there will be the environment variables at the end yeah you see it is added because we executed it twice that's why it got added twice so that is fine because you can modify the script not to add this twice okay so you can update it in uh, in the proper way so that it won't get added twice okay so dollar java i think i mean because of some mistake i think we didn't add the dollar java home slash bin right slash bin okay now we have it now source we just source slash etc bash dot bash rc so let's verify the installer script again why is it Oh, Java bin okay export path equal to Java home slash bin colon path okay now let's uh, Java you see yeah Java came which Java it's showing opt jre uh, here okay so that means I mean the Java got installed properly 